Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share my September 2018 Counterfeit Kit Challenge kit. Um, it is based on the Noel Mignon Apple Crisp Classic kit, and I think that was from a few months ago. Um, anyway, um, what I pulled together, I initially got a paper kit from close to my heart. Oh, I forget the name of it. And I don't know if it has it on here. Falling for You, I think, was the name of the line. Yeah. And so it's all of these papers here. It came with the uh, pattern paper packet came with uh, 12 sheets of uh, pattern paper. No cardstock in this kit. And um, I think that's it. And then I ordered additional embellishments. And, and I had a card making kit as well. And what I had left over from the card making kit I put into here. So let me just show you. I got a, a freckled fawn kit last year um, that I put in here from 2017 as well as a one from 2018 that I just got. Um, so let me start off with showing you the papers from the kit. With their kits you get the horizontal um, as well as the vertical of the cut apart sheets and it's the same on each side one side is horizontal one side is vertical and you get two sheets of those that are um, same thing you get horizontal and vertical so when you look at this one and it's horizontal or vertical this one will be horizontal and then when you flip it over this one is vertical and this one is horizontal or vertical and you get what I'm talking about. Anywho, so there's those two sheets of paper. Uh, this green has a stripe on the back. This gray also has a diagonal craft uh, stripe on the back. This orange floral has a polka dot on the back. Uh, this brown with leaf pattern has a green uh, chevron on the back and this uh, multicolored print has a larger print on the back and this one I may be able to cut some of those leaves out we'll see as time goes by well when I I had this kit all put together and then I thought okay well I need something else to go along with it and so what I ended up doing was I had a uh, paper kit from um, Who's it from? Echo Park? Yes. The Reflections Fall uh, by Lori Whitlock kit. And it's several years old. It was released in 2015. Uh, as this kit from Close to My Heart. It was also released uh, a while ago. It was released last year in 2017. And so I have all of this. It has like colors. It has fall. And so I put everything into one huge jumbo kit. With this one, you get pattern paper as well as stickers. Uh, there are two sheets of stickers here. Um, and I don't know if I had just an additional set that I threw in here or if it actually came with two sets of stickers. It doesn't say on the front. It just says 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. With this, you get um, a cut apart sheet as well. Let me show you. So this is the kit. This is uh, what comes first. And with Echo Park, um, their later releases, I think from, oh, maybe 2015, the end of 2015, they started taking the back side of this carrier sheet or this explanation sheet and making that your cut apart so you weren't getting any wasted pieces. Or if you wanted to take that and cut it off and use it as a border, or maybe cut any of these embellishments out and use them as additional um, as something additional. There is a second sheet with this on it and then the pattern paper of this on the back. So everything will hopefully get utilized out of this kit. Uh, there's this sheet with the acorns and the flourishes and on the back of that is that bigger uh, flourish pattern there and it's called Harvest Morning. <clears throat> this one with the floral and acorn pattern is called Acorn Forest and on the back is a chevron with gray uh, and brown tones. Uh, this one is called Fall Dots and you can see it's got acorns and trees and what looks like text and print um, as well as color dots just all added on here and on the back of that is a pumpkin patch 
um, design in brown. This one is called Autumn Stripes, and it has all of that lovely yellow and dark uh, orange, burnt orange and grays and uh, uh, off-white design, and that's called Autumn Stripes. And then you get this floral design with that rusted orange. This is probably my favorite of all time of ever orange color. And then this last one is uh, called Harvest Plaid. Um, and it's got the yellows and the reds and the grays and the cream. Um, and then, then on the back side, it's got the um, oak leaf floral um, in that grayish brown, taupey, not taupe, uh, just that grayish brown color. So those were the uh, papers that came in this kit. Let me pull one that has all of the colors. That would probably be that as well as a sticker sheet. And then for this other one, it's going to be this one that has all the colors. So I went through and I pulled cardstock for each of these. Now this is going to be a very large kit, but I'm going to kind of keep it separated into this and that. I pulled in some darker brown to go with this set um, because it has so much of the dark brown accent. This one has more of a black or dark gray accent. These with the leaves could go either direction because of the craft. And you have the lighter shade of brown in here and you have actually um, not necessarily craft color but craft feel in this one with all of the browns. So what I'm going to do is I pulled out four sheets of that and if I don't use it for the front side I can always use it for just the craft back side as matting uh, for the layout or for photos. So I'll divide those up. I pulled in white because technically you have white for both backgrounds, but this is more of a cream white. This is more of a stark white. So I pulled out six sheets of this and it's basil cardstock and I'm just going to throw it all behind this set here. And these cream shades here, even though uh, I could pull it into here and use it, it feels better over here and I think I have six sheets of that I'm going to tuck in back here. These are dark green, grayish green, and I feel like they could go either way. This has more of the green feel to it than this one does. There's not any green in that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, because I am going to add green into this as an accent color, I'm going to take four sheets to put with this, and then two sheets to put with this. And then I pulled in this boulder green, um, and I have two sheets of that, and you can see it matches really well. And this is basil, and I'm going to just stick it right in there. I have the lighter shade of green that is also there. I have four sheets of that, and I'm going to put two and two so that I am able to uh, pull the green accent into this other stash. And these are just um, a simple shade of green, and these are We Are Memory Keepers. Um, and they're textured on one side, and I think I'm going to put them both on this side. Um, orange, you can see I pulled in this dark orange. It can go either way, but I think I'm going to... Mm, I really want them all to go with that, but then there won't be enough for over here. So I'm going to put these over here. The lighter shade of orange, I pulled in three sheets. I'll put one sheet, oh no, let me put all three sheets in with this one. And then this shade of orange, there's just one piece of it. It can go either way as well, but I am going to put it over with this one. So you can see, I've kind of got things divided out here. Um, along with this kit, you could purchase this um, little themed kit, if you will, um, with stickers and embellishments and... Um, in it came flare. There's three pieces of flare. There's all of these uh, craft uh, inspired um, just embellishments in there. Uh, there's words and there's embellishments. You see what I'm talking about. And then you get the stickers. Um, you get all of this included. You get all the craft uh, the craft is in each of these, and then you have stickers that say family, and you have the pheasant, and then you have uh, grateful, and 
different images from the kit. So all of this will go into this side because I guess I could pull the craft side over if I wanted to, but I feel like I want to keep everything together. So that I'm going to put there. This one was actually with the card kit and it is a white, um, white and gold. It's not a grow grain, but it, uh, I don't know what the texture of it is, but it's got white with a gold stripe on it and it's going to go here. Along with that kit, um, like I said, I had made tons of cards and these are the scraps and the stamped images that I created. You can see I have a lot of leaves and flowers and scrap pieces of paper. All of that's going to go right here with this, but I have a feeling I may be able to pull back and forth. Um, also with that, I have... Uh, these and I may be able to get them finally mounted. I had created card fronts um, and not used them, but I put them in with this so when I got ready to use this, I would have all the stamps as well um, to create to finish these cards out. And they're just uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight card fronts that will go with this side to hopefully get those finished out for the month. Um, and so then I pulled in my freckled fawn from last year. This is the kit that I got for um, October of, or September, October of 2017. Let's see if I wrote it on here. I didn't even write it on here. I just put the whole thing in here because everything matched so well. So I have this green, and it's got kind of green and brown, uh, different shades of green. It has almost a grayish feel, and I feel like I'm going to be able to use it with this side, so I put it there. I have these gold leaves. I have these wood buttons with uh, enamel shapes on the inside and they match with the pumpkins and everything um, that sign. I have, um, let me move that out of the way so you can see that background. Uh, these hearts, and I feel like they have the greens, the browns, the oranges, and I feel like I could use them for either. Uh, these pumpkins and leaves with gold foiling. This set of stickers, and I think I'll be able to use it for either side, but this is the more stark white side, so I'm keeping it over here. This wood veneer that says October. These uh, sticker letters that are just in the same shades as this is, and then that uh, chipboard sheet that um, also has the same feel and some of these pieces I feel like a pull over here and that's fine I may end up doing that what I may end up doing is putting the veneer piece um, because it says October in the orange and it matches I think this set better I may do something like that so that's everything I had in that kit that I pulled into use here then this um, October uh, Freckled Fawn has started doing a bundle every month and you can start ordering it and of course I always love their embellishments so of course I said <laughs> gotta get it so uh, it had these orange and uh, white uh, with glitter enamel dots enamel stickers um, it had washi tape strips um, and some of these colors match fairly well others not so much so I'll use what I use and whatever doesn't get used will get put back into my stash because I can always pull Freckled Fawn. Another set of label stickers, again, some of the same colors, some not so much, some with more red, uh, intense red background. And then an orange alphabet, and that can go either way on either side. So... Um, I love that. But that's everything that I bundled this month. You could buy these individually or get the whole bundle for a cheap price. I pulled in washi tape to use on both sides. This has uh, floral images and bird images. Uh, that is just uh, green and orange and white stripe. This one has gray and green and orange bicycles. This is a floral design that has fall colors and it can go either way. Um, let me put those right there in the middle so you can get just a general look. Uh, I have some browns, a brown floral, a brown um, chevron. I have these shades of yellow and green and brown. I have this one 
with a very autumnal feel uh, with the rusty color orange and grays and greens a wood uh, tone image there this is an orange yellow um, floral image on here but I feel like it can go either way uh, this is uh, washi tape that has um, Oh, floral on it floral images and it's got all different shades of oranges and greens and even some purple uh, I pulled in these shades of green you have wood veneer or wood tone wood tone and then that is just brown and green you can see I went a little washi tape crazy and then this is orange with um, almost like a floral design on it so that's it as far as the washi tape goes so yeah, lots of washi tape. Um, anywho, um, so I pulled in some stickers from Freckled Fawn um, and other embellishments from Freckled Fawn. And you can see I just, this one I pulled for the gold and black, not necessarily the uh, epoxy uh, shapes, the stars and the hearts through there, um, but for these gold foiled um, white and black embellishments um, these are some wood veneer that also have that um, floral design on them more um, labels these are chipboard stickers um, and you can see it has the feel I think not all of the colors will go but some of the colors will go these enamel dots or epoxy dots uh, these cork tags from Freckled Fawn Cork Tickets, I should say. Uh, these word vellum strips from uh, Freckled Fawn. Uh, this wood veneer that says November. These coffee mugs because uh, we know, uh, I know, I drink like pumpkin spice latte drinks um, at this time of the year when it's available from Starbucks or get the pumpkin spice creamer from the grocery store or pumpkin anything this time of the year. I'm a big fan of pumpkin. I pulled in these gold and orange um, stars, glitter stars, these labels from Freckled Fawn. Uh, pulled in a couple of journal spots that have the yellow and the brown on them as well as this packet from November of 2016 that have multiple um, images. These were when they were still one-sided and it has a lot of the turquoise and teal in there and a lot of the red. I don't know how many of them I will get used but if I can get one or two used I mean that's all for the good right? And then these uh, acrylic or resin pieces with the floral pattern the um, plaid pattern and then this scalloped design so I pulled all of those in and then with the card making kit I had already pulled in these twines and so I just left them here um, and they'll they'll go with either one of these um, I went through my stash and I pulled in a couple of extra things like some uh, bitty dots, bitty bling, bitty pearls, the tiny little ones. These are um, the off-white cream color. Um, I pulled in these enamel dots, uh, the cream color, and then I had a couple of little gold uh, dots left that were from close to my heart. I pulled in this craft medley uh, sequin kit and it's got uh, copper, orange, green, yellow, and gold. I pulled in this set from Maggie Holmes and their puffy stickers and they have gold. I pulled in two sets of letter stickers. These are alpha chips from MMBI and they are just gold foiled and uh, there's one set in each package. I pulled in uh, this set of um, American Crafts Rockabye uh, thicker set. I pulled in this basic gray set. I pulled in this close to my heart set and I've used it quite a bit. Hopefully I'll be able to get some more of it used up. I pulled in this bow bunny set and it looks like uh, wood paneling. This set of two what's left of four. Um, I have two um, they're tags, but I forget what that stuff is called. Let's see. It just says tags, like canvas almost tags. 
I have this set. There's actually two sets of cork letters in here. I want to try and get those used up. Two little burlap bows left in that package. I have these two little paper sacks that I had stamped for a project and uh, have left over. And so um, I'm going to try and get those used. I have this set of cork gift tags with the hemp um, binding. And so I want to try and get those used. This is a set of adhesive word shapes from um, Target Dollar Spot. And it's got acorns and pumpkins and leaves. And then it's got thankful there. Gift bag tags uh, with the copper and then the gold foiling on them. Also from Target Dollar Spot. Yeah. Yeah. These are some orange leaves, doily leaves that I picked up at uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, at least get a couple of those used. I pulled this green felt border from my stash and then this close to my heart um, border pack from my stash. I pulled in my uh, twine um, and rather than carry this whole thing, put it into my, try and get it in my iris case. I just pulled some off, put it on a card, put the needle there with it and so that I have that. The stamps and dies that I had with the card making kit um, are here. Um, I had this leaf and it's close to my heart. This set of Happy Day Workshop Sure Way um, dies. That was the, the, the stamp set that came with the card kit. And then these were just additional dies that um, match the paper line. This one is... I don't know the name, but it's all that leaf pattern. The same as in that. Uh, this is a lot of floral uh, design. This one is Feel So Blessed, and it's a stamp of the month. And then this one was Stronger Together Sentiments. Um, I also pulled in some stamp sets to match the inspiration kit. This one is uh, called A Sip, and it's got the coffee cup, the spoon, and then the steam that comes up, and it says, You Warm My Heart. This one is uh, Autumn Wishes, uh, a seasonal um, stamp set. It says, Hey There, Pumpkin, and Autumn Wishes, with these two lovely pumpkins on here uh, that can be cut out. This set I pulled in, it's called Lifetime, and it's an older set, a very old set, um, and it's got life is sweet, time of your life, and then it's got some buckles or hinges, um, uh, a key area, and then this stitch design here, and then a watch face and key, and then screw ends there. This one is key moments. Again, keys here, and then it's got two watches, um, and you can actually stamp the inside of the watch if you want, or just put the sentiment on the inside. Um, this is an owl with dye um, that says, I'll see you soon, or I'll always love you, or you're a hoot. Um, this is a little foxes set. Both of these are from Stamps of Life. And I'm going to try and make some cards with these as well. Uh, these are a couple of little squirrels from uh, Stamps of Life. Barnyard animals, the horse, the pig, and the chicken. And then, again, um, more... Um, the sentiments for hot chocolate, if you will. And so this is everything that I've pulled together so far. So far, no, this is everything that I've pulled together for the kit. I'm not going to add anything else. It's huge as it is. I've tried to stay away from the, the bigger kits, but in this instance, I feel like it works because I had most of this pulled together already. And so I'm going to try and get it used up or as best I can. Whether I get to it this month, I don't know. Um, but if not, I can continue to pull from it until I do get it used up. And you guys know me. I'm not at all bashful about keeping my kits together for years. I mean, literally two or three years um, is how long I've kept a kit together until I got it used up. So I'm not opposed to doing that at all. So in the meantime... Uh, keep checking back on my channel and um, hopefully I will have this put together at some point and share the results with you. Um, but it is huge, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks for sticking around. I hope I inspired you to get into your stash and pull some of your stuff out so that you can create some layouts with all the great stuff that you have. And I will see you on the next video. If this was inspiring, uh, please flip me a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe so you can get inspired even more. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.